Hey, my lovely people. First off, before we get into this, I do want to say I know I need to do a live. Please, please bear with me. I have been so busy. When we go live, we will talk about why I've been so busy and some things that I have going on. Probably need to do some updating, but I have been extremely busy. So don't worry. Lives are coming soon. Now, let's get right on to this. Who is on the menu, which I know you guys have seen the thumbnail, know it's Prissy P. Like I've said, I'm not going to, you know, beat a dead horse with Prissy P because at this point, a lot of people say, well, you know, you're a plus size woman talking about another plus size woman. Um, I proved that there are two totally different body types uh, going on here between me and Prissy P. And I am tired of plus size women making other plus size women look bad. You know, we've already discussed this. Sometimes it's just your uh, genetic DNA makeup and sometimes it's just gluttony. Now, I was watching Prissy the other day, right? And did y'all see when she went to uh, Trader Joe's and then after she went to Trader Joe's, she was at Dunkin' Donuts. She was at Kirkland's. She was just like, to me, it looked like recycled content. But if it is, oh, well. My whole thing was she was at Trader Joe's and the whole time she was shopping in Trader Joe's, she was talking about eating healthy. She probably picked up, I would say, like 20 different healthy things from um, fruits to vegetables, everything. Yeah, so as she shows us these healthy food choices, y'all, she even went as far as to start showing like cashew yogurt and vegan macaroni. You know, she was doing things like... I'm like, okay, look at you, girl. What you trying to eat healthy? She went into Trader Joe's, showed us all their healthy food, but bought not one piece of healthy food. She did not purchase any healthy food. Matter of fact, as soon as she uh, was done with her Trader Joe's, she did like an insert video to advertise spices. And all she cooked was some fatty pork chops, rice, and beans. I was like, wait a minute. So what was the whole point of her going into Trader Joe's showing... All this healthy food as though she was going to buy it. See, that's what I mean. It's mind games and it's fuckery. Prissy wants people to believe that she has a food addiction. It's not. Let me tell you something. She's not got no food damn addiction. That is gluttony. If you then watch, she goes to Dunkin' Donuts, okay? When she goes to Dunkin' Donuts, she orders all that crap. Did y'all see? Y'all, I'm sorry. I've never seen. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm new to this. I may be true to it, but I might, I might be new to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't never seen nobody bite so fast. Prissy P was up there biting that toast. I don't even think she chewed it. I mean, she bit it and then bit it and bit it and bit it. And then her mouth was empty. So I'm like, is she just swallowing the food whole? See, after a while, it becomes mind over matter. Okay. It becomes mind over matter. Like, girl, if you have to wake up every day and you have to put on compression socks just to get up and dance around, then that should tell you that you uh, don't need to be eating that shit. But what really cracks me up is she drinks coffee upon coffee. And when I say coffee, I mean like those Frappuccino caramel things and refreshers all together. She has to have two or three beverages just to feel like she's getting, you know, her thirst is quenched all at once. See, uh, uh, I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was trying to support another plus size woman on this app, but I got to say this is this is outrageous. If you have to film a sandal haul and say finding sandals to fit around my lymphedema, honey, drive past Starbucks, drive past Dunkin' Donuts. It's just that simple. I mean, her body has to feel miserable because I'm gonna tell you, if I put on extra weight. I feel miserable. And I'm like, uh-uh, I got to get that gone. I got to get that gone right now. So if you can't read your body signs and make, your, make yourself want to feel better, and I'm going to tell y'all something that I caught. Everybody keeps saying that this is her husband. We have not yet seen a marriage certificate online, and we have not yet seen a wedding photo. So anybody, Jasmine, okay, y'all, let's keep in mind now. Jasmine and Chris wear engagement rings. Olivia wears engagement rings with everybody she dates. That don't mean that you marry. So let me just put that out there. That's FYI. But a lot of people was like, well, her man, her man, her husband, her husband, he likes it. At this point, have you seen the husband? 
I think that he likes that she cooks and eats that way because he looks like he wants to enjoy it too. I mean, shit, let's call a spade a spade. That's number one. But did y'all see when she went to Starbucks and she ordered all that crap? He makes a joke and he says, oh, yeah, we got breakfast of champions. And he eggs her on to eat it. Let me tell y'all something. I know y'all watch 600 Pounds Life. I know y'all do. I know we have. And a lot of us sit here and be like, damn, how they get these husbands? How they get these men? Some men are so insecure within themselves that they like, uh-huh, that their women stay the way Prissy P is. Because they're scared and insecure. If she was to lose weight, we've seen on 600 pound now, life now, that they would leave. Right? Right? I think that's something that's going on in this household. I think that he's insecure because he's a bigger fella. He wants her to stay like that. I don't believe that they can have SEX because that would just be a lot of flapping around. And if y'all look at this middle picture here, if y'all notice, Prissy P was on here shaving her mustache. Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you something about being overweight. And this is something I know medically. When you're overweight, it throws off your hormones. Your hormones can then turn into testosterone and produce a lot of hair. And I believe that's what's going on with her. If your leg is the size of a damn cantaloupe at the bottom, honey, stop. Just stop. Now, I'm not going to beat a dead horse because I know she doesn't care about her health. And I know that she thinks it's cute. But I'm going to tell you something. If I had a problem like she did, my friends would surely come over and tell me about my motherfucking self. Because, see, my friends care and my family care. Because they would be like, oh, ho, no. You better go get you some help. You better do something. Because you're not going to be uh, stumping up and down these hallways with lymphedema and motherfucking compression socks on. That ain't sexy. That ain't cute. But, y'all, I ain't here to beat no dead horse. If she want to be unhealthy, let her be unhealthy. I'm going to react uh, to her. Because I have literally never in my life seen somebody eat food that fast. I mean, I don't know if she could taste it. I don't even know if she could enjoy the flavor. I don't even know if she knew what she was eating. I mean, she ate that food so fast in that car. That 600-pound life, I'm sorry. It just reminds me of it. You know how they go during the day and they stop eight or nine places before work, after work, during work. And they just scarf it down in their car and they keep pushing that is what Prissy P did, and it really just, it popped in my brain like that. And I wanted to know if y'all seen it, because I'm pretty sure she inhaled everything she got from Starbucks in like two seconds. And it was making me want to gag and want to just be sick. So if you've seen it, you've seen it. I'm not here to get on her about her health. If she like it, I love it. If she want to dance around and do the two-step tango with a lymph lymphedema uh, kneecap, hey, more power to you, girl. Guess what? Because I'm on wipe me down because I'm on. Girl, do what you got to do. But I'm here to let you know one plus size woman to another plus size woman. Girl, that's gross and it's sick. I'm going to see y'all in the comments.